Well, it looks like karma has finally come for Ellen. I've reported on this story a few times over the summer when things were really starting to come out about what was going on with this show. And a lot of the people coming out and talking about the toxic work environment that she was setting for her show. There was tons of people that worked for her and cleaned her house. She had a lot of help that cleaned her house and how they talked about she turned everything into a problem. Really put people down. Basically, her whole be nice to each other philosophy. Well, it wasn't. Cer- it certainly wasn't something that she took to heart. And after all this came out, surprise, surprise, her ratings plummeted. And she's now saying, well, it was always the plan for this, but her show is canceled. It's going to end sometime at the start of the 2022 season. Basically, the 19th season of the show is going to be the last. So from the Daily Mail exclusive, her time is up and she knows it. Ellen DeGeneres to end her talk show after 19 seasons as ratings have plummeted due to allegations of bullying and toxic work environment on the set. So this was a big story over the summer. Big story. Uh, Basically, she's a phony and a fake. And he has a huge ego and is terrible to be around. I mean, there was all kinds of stories coming out about people that worked there and how basically she made their lives a living hell. And like I said, it's it's just funny considering what she pushes. She pushes this brand image that she's a super kind person and that she's great and wants to help out fellow people and really just is there for everybody. And it turned out to be a lie. I mean, that's not a surprise, right? Most of the people in Hollywood are all fake phonies. She's just the next in line to have that thrown out. But what's really funny is how low the ratings got. You can look right here and you can see that it's gotten so low. A source said the show has bled viewers since the toxic environment around Ellen and her show was made public. The ratings for total households from February 2020 to February 2021 were down 40% in New York City and Chicago. And in L.A., she lost 59% of her viewers. Now, that's where she should have the biggest audience because that's like the hub of people that she pitches the show for. In Philly, ratings... In the same time period, we're down 32%. And in San Francisco, she had lost 50% of her viewers. Since its season premiere in September, the show garnered an average of 1.5 million viewers. By March, down 1.1 million from the same time frame a year ago, which had 2.6 million average viewers. Uh, The leaks are also saying that she knows her time is up. She knows her time is up, and that's why she's taken off. The ratings have tanked and have truly... And have been truly appalling this year. And Ellen knows her time is up, the source said. So uh, that's it for Ellen. And it couldn't have come at a better time. Hollywood and celebrities are kind of scrambling to try to figure out how to get people back. You've just seen the Golden Globes cancel for this year under, under the disguise of, well, we're doing it so that we can ramp up our inclusion and all this stuff. When they just want to save themselves the embarrassment because they know no one's going to tune in for this shit. Imagine like, you know, years ago, not even that long ago, like six or seven years ago, people would tune in by the millions to watch these award shows. Everybody wanted to know what's going on with celebrities, right? But we live in a time where Gwyneth Paltrow comes out and says, yeah, the uh, lockdowns are really hard for me. I had to, I broke down one day and I ate some bread. It's a true story. It's real. Here's the Guardian's coverage of it. She broke down and ate bread. Oh no. You know, some people probably couldn't even afford bread t- during the past couple of months. Like I, I'm willing to bet there is people that were in that kind of hardship where they couldn't even afford a loaf of bread. But oh dear Lord. Gwyneth Paltrow had to break down and eat some bread during these tough times. 
Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, you find out Ellen DeGeneres is a jerk, too. I mean, she she had everything come out on her <laughs> over the past year. So uh, this is the state that we're in with celebrities. And, and I say good. You know, podcast revenue up $2.2 billion by 2023. Uh, this is through ads on podcasts. And, you know, podcasts are homegrown for the most part. It's just regular people talking. This is what people are interested in now. No one gives a damn about Ellen. Nobody cares about Gwyneth Paltrow. Nobody cares about Hollywood. And they're scrambling to try to figure out how to get the people back. How do we get people back? You know, you're seeing late night talk shows fall by the dozens. The podcast killed late night talk shows. Conan O'Brien announced his last episode with TBS will air June 24th. It's not just they're not it's not just podcasts killing late night talk shows, by the way. It's the fact that people are sick of Hollywood Elite. Constant, constant preaching and lectures and all of this shit coming out of Hollywood. Nobody cares. Nobody wants it. So they're abandoning them. They're losing. They're losing the story here. And it's just going to keep going. Here's another one. Lily Singh canceled. I guess all of that whole, you know, men are trash kind of push for this show didn't quite help it out. Right. So it's just going to keep crumbling and I'm going to keep laughing. I think this is great. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres has seen her brand completely destroyed. And I don't think that it's going to ever rebound. Of course, she's probably sitting around blaming you and everyone around her except herself right now, which I think is is pretty funny when it's nothing like that's that's a complete lie. She has nobody but herself to blame for her failure, for being a jerk and being a fake phony, just like the rest of the people in Hollywood. Anyway. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see all of you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.